Congressman Mark Green joins me now to discuss his proposal. It is not specified in the Constitution. You want to make that number nine permanent. Yeah, thanks, John, for having me on the show. It, it's just crazy that they want to basically pack the court with activist judges who will interpret the Constitution as if it were a living document. And this tendency started, I think, in the Warren Court in the 50s, but uh, it, it's very dangerous. It threatens not only the independence of the judiciary branch, but it also threatens the legislative branch because essentially if the justices can interpret the Constitution by what they think it ought to say, well, that basically makes five, you know, lawyers from Harvard and Yale, justices on the Supreme Court, super legislators. I mean, they basically can undo anything that the legislative branch does. That's not what our founders intended. You know, they wanted to separate power amongst branches of government. This idea is crazy, and we have to, to stand against it. So We're looking, as you speak, at, at a video uh, shot of the Supreme Court. Um, three of its members appointed by President Barack Obama. Does that, in, does that bother you in particular? <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm for the way our government is set up. And it's just real interesting right now, you know, that the, the, at least the elite leadership of the Democrat Party, uh, but they want a different country, whether it's packing the court or the, you know, changing the Electoral College or, uh, you know, their House Resolution 1, their number one bill in this session, session, which essentially wants to take California's election system and force it on all the other states. I mean, they're just doing everything they can to put themselves in power and, uh, you know, push their socialist agendas. I think it's, I think it's crazy. It's, it's uh, a threat to our democracy. We, we can't stand for this. Well, let's get down to the nuts and bolts of it, though. Republicans are in the minority in the U.S. House. If you, uh, ad, if you propose this uh, constitutional amendment, it's not going going to go anywhere under Nancy Pelosi's leadership, is it? Well, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically implore the speaker. You know, she spent her life in the legislative branch. And if we don't close this off and keep these activist judges from being packed into the court, she's basically, her legacy, her, her lifetime of work in the legislative branch will be undone. So hopefully she'll listen to that reason and, uh, you know, support this amendment. All right. So, um, in terms of uh, what's going on at the southern border, the, the Marine Commandant has told, uh, has warned Congress that uh, President Trump's uh, plans, President Trump's uh, involvement in sending troops to the U.S. border is negatively affecting the Marine Corps, that it is uh, preventing them from doing training overseas that they need to be doing, um, that it's causing problems uh, for reparations that need to be made, repairs that need to be made at bases. What's your response to that? Yeah, my response to that is it's time for the, you know, the Democrat leadership to start funding the military. I mean, if you look at what happened during the Obama administration, the cuts to the military, the cuts to DOD, where they had to sacrifice modernization, they had to sacrifice base um, you know, maintenance on, on installations to maintain readiness. So, so President Obama, or President Trump has done a lot to increase that budget, but you, you just can't make it all up in just a few years. And so essentially they're under-resourced and he's basically telling his commander in chief, look, these are the resources that we have and, and, and we've got multiple missions and here's the risk. And you, you can't blame him for saying that. That's what a commander is supposed to say to the commander in chief. But what we need is Congress to fund the Department of Defense and fund the Department of Homeland Security, and they have failed. Our Democrat opponents, at least the elite leadership, would much rather have an open border than they would have a trained Marine, and that is a tragedy, and, and right. we are going to continue to point that out and hopefully uh, make some changes in 2020. Congressman Mark Green, thanks very much for being here. Thanks, John. Thanks for having me.